Good evening children. Today our topic is the forces of evolution. First of all let us know definition. The forces that bring changes in the gene pool of population are called evolutionary forces. Here what are the parts are included in this topic? They include mutation, gene flow, genetic drift and natural selection. Here first one what is a mutation? A spontaneous change in a gene is known as a mutation. Here two types of mutations are present. One is a gene mutation. The same one the gene that occurs. The, the change that occurs in a gene is known as a gene mutation. Let us the second one is known as a chromosomal mutation. Same uh, definition. The change that occurs in a chromosome is known as a chromosomal mutation. And here what happens when mutation occurs in both the gene and chromosomes? It produces a different characters in the organisms. Thus mutation produces a variation in the organisms. And next one uh, is a gene flow. Movement of alleles from one population to to another population is known as a gene flow. Here, the random introduction of alleles into the recipient population and removal from donor population affect the allelic frequency of both the population. And next one, gene flow brings about an addition or loss of genes in the gene pool. And the uh, next third one is a genetic drift. Here I already explained what is it a definition. How the genetic uh, drift affects. Uh, two types are there. One is a founder effect. Another one is bottleneck effect. Now fourth one. The last one is a natural selection. Uh, sometimes uh, this natural selection is comes for the short answer. So natural selection includes. So here all forces. That means both physical and biotic factors determine determine how and in what direction an organism is to change in their environment. So that is a natural selection. Both what are two factors are present. What are they? Both physical and biotic factors determine how the organisms can change in their environment. So natural selection has no favorism but but it is obvious that organisms which are suited for environment uh, Sorry, but it is obvious that the organisms which are suited for environmental conditions will survive over power in the force of the competition. Better survivors are retained in the nature. Those organisms can survive in the, in the changed environment are the survivors. And the next one, types of the natural selection. There are three types are there. Number one is the directional selection. Considering the change in the environment, if any environment changes, the weaker animals will be removed and a new environment will favor to only strong animals. So those animals are strong, they can survive in their new environment. Thus, the weaker animals are removed from one end of a fauna and a natural selection is directed towards evolving the stronger animals so that means the environment always gives a support to the stronger animals only example is resistance of insects to ddt here ddt it is a widely used for insecticide after a few years of existence use ddt lost its effectiveness on insects that means the insects uh, habitat to that ddt insecticide so Resistance to DDT is a genetic trait that the presence of DDT in the, in the environment made into a favored trait. So only those insects resistance to DDT survived leading over time to populations largely resistance to DDT. That means those insecticides are habitat to that DDT they can survive in the environment. That is an example of the directional selection and come to the Next one is the stabilizing selection. In this type of selection, the environment is constant. Then there is no change in the environment. Thus, it favors only those animals which does not respond to change in the environment because environment is constant. Here's a, this type of environment is suitable for that. Those animals are not survive in the changed environment. So, such type of animals are supported by this stabilizing selection. Okay, here thus the selection will remove all the weaker animals and abnormal animals. So, a weaker animals means the animals cannot survive in the new environment, and abnormal animals means the animals can survive even if environment changes. And these two of animals now in this selection 
Why? Because uh, the environment is not changing now. So here, in this type of environment, uh, these two weaker and abnormal animals are removed slowly. Hence, the selection will not favor in evolving new species but it will maintain the phenotype of fauna and the last one is the descriptive selection this is also known as the adaptive radiation here what happens the environment is characterized by extreme climatic condition that is hot and cold and this environment will favor only those animals which are abnormally strong then there is also an increased competition between among animals what happens here this competitive Pressure separates the average animals from the environment. Here, what happens in this type of environment, the abnorm abnormal animals can survive even though the average animals also can survive. So, there is a competition appear between these two animals. So, they separate from the environment like this. Uh, splitting of animals uh, takes place by this selection so that uh, two new species are evolved. So, this uh, selection will favor informing uh, new species. Thank you.